surprising about what's in the ones that don't. All right, so let's let's talk about what we have. First of all, I just want to point out for the record, of course, that the special counsel, Bob Mueller, last summer when he found out about the text messages, which did indicate bias by uh, the, the senior agent struck, he removed him from the team, okay? He removed him uh, immediately upon finding that out. Uh, but let's just share one of them that I know that you have talked about as well as your, uh, your, your, your uh, Republican senatorial co colleague, Senator Johnson. Uh, this one is from May 19th uh, of last summer, so it's right after the five-month glitch. And in it, uh, struck texts page referring to the Russia investigation ostensibly. You and I both know the odds are nothing. If I thought it was likely, I'd be there, no question. I hesitate in part because of my gut sense and concern there's no big there there. Okay. The assumption being made here is that they're talking about his willingness to join the Russia investigation. But my question to you is, Congressman, doesn't this show you that whatever his personal political beliefs were, which he's, he's saying here, if I thought it was likely, I'd be there, no question. But he didn't have a bias against uh, Trump on Russia. He's saying there's no big there there. I don't think there's anything there. You know what, Aaron, uh, respectfully, it tells me the exact opposite, because just above that text is a conversation about impeachment. And every single FBI agent I know would look at what Bob Mueller is doing right now and saying, you are performing a national service from a counterintelligence standpoint mm -hmm. and from a criminal standpoint. It's just not how many pelts you can tack up against the wall in terms of guilty pleas and convictions. Bob Mueller is also doing a counterintelligence investigation about a foreign adversary that attacked our country in 2016. And if that doesn't get an FBI agent excited enough to participate in an investigation, that's heartbreaking. So I read that text exactly differently. If it's not going to result in a conviction against the President of the United States, I'm not interested in participating. I don't know another bureau agent that would take that approach. All right, but I, I'm just making the point. He obviously didn't think there was a there there. So he didn't go into the Russia investigation, which he, he then subsequently joined before Mueller removed him. He didn't go into it thinking the President was guilty. He went into it thinking the opposite. So as much as the guy, as you're pointing out, hates the President, he didn't see any there, though. He wasn't, he wasn't going in thinking he was going to find anything. Well, the only thing I would say in response to that, Aaron, is the morning after the election, they're discussing impeachment. So if they're really open-minded, objective, fact-centric FBI agents, what are they doing discussing impeachment when the ink isn't dry on, on, on the ballot confirmation yet? This is the morning after, and they're talking about impeachment. So... Look, I, I have a lot of respect for you. You're going to have a really hard time convincing me that Peter Strzok should have been on this investigation.